Hi, today I will be showing you a few useful things about Sumo. But first, let's do some setup. You can download the latest version of Sumo at their website. The current version is 1.9.0. Now we have to add some directory paths to the environment variables. Now I'm going to show you how to import Jurong Area map into uh, Sumo using OpenStreetMap. First of all, we go to the menu and we launch the OSM web wizard inside this uh, Sumo um, menu folder. There is this OSM web wizard. you click uh, this position uh, and type NTU Singapore so here is the map of Jurong area then we click select area these are the boundaries you, uh, which you can uh, adjust okay so yeah this is the Jurong area and then uh, left hand traffic Singapore is left hand traffic this is correct and then uh, let's see the vehicles okay this will be the default and after that we can click generate scenario This will take some time.
the sumo will be launched automatically together with the map of Jurong. You can just zoom in and click this arrow here. The simulation will run. And over here uh, at the bottom, you can see the number of uh, vehicles being added uh, every second into the map. Okay, now I will show you the location of the simulation files. You can go to C drive, users, your username and sumo folder you will find the current folder generated by sumo these are the files that are generated in order to run this scenario now we open this main file osm sumo cfg and you will see three files here. The net XML file contains information of edges, junctions and connections between them. The trip file contains the root information and the trip information of each vehicle. Poly XML describes the dimensions and the shapes of buildings and other facilities on the map okay first of all let's go inside osm net xml first you'll see the edge it describes the roads every road on the map then as you scroll down you will see junctions so here it describes the ev everything about junction for example, uh, this is uh, this is quite important for our research. It says uh, it has it contains these four uh, roads or these four edges. So it tells you that uh, these are the four roads that are connected to this junction. Okay, yeah. So same for this. It tells you that okay, this junction has these four roads connected to it. Uh, you can find more information on this website. Uh, okay, this is the website. Okay, this is the link. So you will see, right? Okay, INC lanes uh, is the IDs of the lanes that end at the intersection. Okay, so for more information, you, uh, uh, you can refer to here. So now let's go into the most important file in the simulation, the trip file. Uh, as you can see, uh, the trip file contains all the trips of all the vehicles from vehicle 0 to vehicle 9207. This is a lot of vehicle which uh, is not needed for this uh, demonstration. So we will just comment out all the rest except three vehicles. Right. Now we have vehicle 0, vehicle 1 and 2. That is three vehicles running okay they have their starting uh, point and destination okay so uh, let us go back to the scenario so remember to save here first okay you save this and then you go to the 
uh, scenario map itself and then you refresh and then you click this to run okay but before you run uh, it is better to increase the delay to have a better view otherwise the vehicles will be running too fast right now we can run this so you see that it is difficult to uh, locate the vehicles right we use locate and then locate vehicles for example we want to see where is the we want to track where is the third vehicle yep so here we are we have this okay so and then let's see where is the second vehicle okay here it is okay and then let's see where is the third vehicle uh, in a center in a centered manner okay for if you click center uh, the map does not move together with the vehicle okay so that's the end okay after the vehicles uh, finish all their routes uh, they will disappear and then this will come out okay okay and then uh, it closes so if you want to launch again you click this uh, refresh it will launch again if you want to control the maximum number of vehicles without modifying the trips xml or root file that is this one uh, you can uh, use uh, a command okay just uh, go to the main file and type this command max num vehicles value let's say 200 save then you go to your simulation and you click refresh when you run this it will stop at 200 so if you click this uh, it will the running vehicles will be constant at 200 so at any one time 200 vehicles will be running on uh, the simulation okay so uh, this uh, command is very useful uh, if you do not want to change anything here okay this is how you build the sumo uh, python integration uh, okay this is sumo uh, the software with its own api uh, this is the python get function this is the machine learning uh, or optimization code this is the python uh, set uh, function so all these uh, three here are in one script okay uh, but you can uh, um, but depending on your usage you uh, can separate them yeah uh, depending on your usage so uh, this python get function okay we'll be using the apis from sumo to grab the data uh, like um, vehicle uh, information uh, traffic light information or junction information okay and after it gets the data it will pass to this uh, machine learning optimization uh, to be uh, computed uh, and then uh, it will generate results uh, the results will be um, received by this uh, set function 
okay this uh, set function will set the new values into sumo using its own uh, set uh, uh, package okay it has its own set package and get package inside okay they are apis python apis okay uh, now i will show you uh, the python sumo script okay so uh, the line 27 and 28 is to perform a launching okay this will launch the sumo uh, software together with the um, jurong area uh, simulation um, scenario okay um, next uh, we will uh, get all the vehicles from the simulation and all the traffic light information from the simulation and now we deal with the vehicle first uh, okay so we get the get position uh, after we get the x y we convert this x y to the gps coordinates then we get the speed get the road id get the lane id get the distance get the angle get the next uh, traffic light okay and then we pack them into a list and this is the display printing uh, onto the console then the next one is uh, to the next one is to get the lane id of the vehicle okay so for this vehicle okay uh, this loop will iterate over all the vehicles so for every vehicle we will get the lane id and after that we will uh, check this lane id uh, whether it is controlled by traffic lights okay so this is the line to check whether it is controlled by traffic lights so if it is controlled by traffic lights we will get the traffic light information okay like this uh, get the state get the phase duration get the control lanes all the control lanes and get the uh, this is the whole program uh, whole tl logic program uh, and also get the next switch traffic light switch okay so and the same thing for uh, traffic uh, we have to pack them into a list like this all the values pack them properly okay and then this is the print we print out the information so uh, finally we will get this uh, uh, list okay we will produce this list uh, by combining the vehicle list with the uh, traffic light list okay if you can remember uh, this is the list of all the information of the vehicle okay at a certain time um, and then this is the uh, list of all the traffic light information at a certain time okay the time is the same okay so it is the vehicle at the vehicle and the traffic light is within one loop okay so uh, we combine the vehicle list together with the traffic list okay and pack them into one big uh, one big list okay so uh, this list will be passed to uh, at the end will be passed to the data frame and then output to Excel as Excel as, as the Excel SX uh, uh, file, right? Okay. Uh, these are the uh, header the header names. So uh, these will uh, uh, give you the uh, required Excel data for uh, if you want to perform uh, offline um, machine learning so uh, if you do not want to perform offline learning you want to perform all in one shot in this one uh, in this one uh, python script you can okay after you get this data right okay together with the vehicle list and the, all the data are here uh, every second okay so this data will uh, you will uh, get this data from here okay this data uh, this is a list okay your machine learning code or your optimization code will get this uh, uh, list and uh, do whatever computation you need and the output will be passed to here okay the control vehicles and traffic lights okay this part i have done a sample for this we uh, we can control the speed uh, like this 
and we can control the traffic light like this. We can set the phase duration, set the red, yellow, green state. For speed, uh, before you set speed, you need to put this uh, according to the instruction, set speed mode. Okay, we, that means we are ready to change the speed. Okay, so uh, this is for uh, this is, uh, uh, just a small example. For example, I want to change the speed of vehicle 2 in the simulation. So I put this and then I change the speed to uh, 15 meters per second, which is uh, 54 kilometers per hour. Okay, and the traffic light, I, for example, I have a traffic light duration. Uh, I want to change like, okay, 5 minutes, uh, 5 seconds, 37 seconds, uh, 5 seconds, like this, uh, between green, yellow, red. Okay, so these are the signals. Uh, okay, five, uh, 5 seconds of this, 37 seconds of this. Okay, 5 seconds of this. Yeah, so you put properly. Uh, this is the, for example, I want to change this traffic light. This is the traffic light. And I put this traffic light name here set the phase duration to this to this one i put random okay so i randomly choose between one okay at one time and same uh, same thing traffic signal this is to change the uh, set red yellow green state is to change the traffic signal state traffic signal okay here this is the duration traffic light duration here okay i just put a uh, randomly uh, okay so so okay, your uh, machine learning codes are here. Okay, so uh, basically you can perform uh, all your uh, all the getting the get the data, um, get the traffic light. Okay, get the you can perform getting the vehicles, uh, getting the traffic light signals, uh, those information, and then. Okay, you pack this together and then you pass to this your your machine learning codes, which can be uh which can be another uh Python uh, script or file, and uh okay you just import into here, and after the re after that uh, after computation the results are out. You can just uh, set the speed of a uh, change the speed of a vehicle, uh or you, if you want to control traffic lights you can do this. Okay, this is just an example. Okay, so uh basically that is enough uh for uh, use okay if you want uh, some uh, for example advanced level um, there are other uh, there are things like okay like this change the vehicle state okay so uh, if you want to change the vehicle set right all the sets are here so just now we were using a uh, set speed, right? So this is just one of them. You can set a lot of things in the uh, simulation. So it is very uh, exhaustive. You need to try out each one if you, or you can uh, have a look if you need uh, some specific function of setting. Okay, this will change the uh, vehicle state. Okay, and then you can change the traffic light state. Okay, here. Okay, so uh, just now you can see, right, set uh, red, yellow state. Okay, this is to set the state of the, uh, this is to set the state of the traffic light. Okay, this is to set the phase duration. Okay, just now you see, right, in our script. Okay, set phase duration, set red, yellow, green state. Okay, set phase duration, set green, yellow, green state. Oh. All right. So uh, there are other information uh, which you can look up. Uh, okay, I have put them here. We are now ready to run this script. Um, okay, uh, you see sumo here, right? Uh, if I put sumo, um, it will only run the uh, sumo simulation without the GUI. Okay, so if you want the GUI, it should be uh, dot uh, dash GUI sumo dash GUI. Okay, it will the sumo uh, software will pop up. Okay, if you don't want if you, if you want to save uh, uh, save uh, if you do not want to see the uh, the map and all the running, uh, you can just do this. Okay, so uh, we'll open the terminal and. Uh, Python, so it will be Python uh, sumo run dot py. 
okay so uh, this will have uh, no GUI okay it is just a plane running in the console okay so uh, while you're performing this right while, while your computer is running this uh, your 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 computer will make some noises because uh, this is very uh, heavy uh, yeah I guess the is your computer fan uh, even now my computer fan is also uh, very noisy now okay so make sure you don't uh, simulate too big an area okay so this is just your wrong area it is making noise already okay so that's the end of it uh, okay yeah so uh, yeah by the way you can see right this uh, the uh, the sumo right also uses the dextra router okay choose the shortest path okay so uh, here you can see right okay this is the output okay just generated okay so when you open the output okay so you have all this okay which you can use for your opt uh, optimization and machine learning uh, purposes okay so uh, let's see um, we will run the dash GUI okay so let's change this to sumo dash GUI and then we will try okay so we run okay when you run this you will see uh, what happens okay this will launch okay so uh, before that right uh, let's go back to the okay before you run right uh, let's see let's check back this uh, script okay what we want to observe uh, let's see whether uh, our uh, let's see whether our set set function is working okay we are setting these new uh, these new uh, signal patterns and duration okay to this uh, traffic light signal okay this is the traffic light uh, signal the the uh, at the junction okay so uh, I'll copy this okay this is the traffic light ID so copy this and then we go here and okay we start running first okay and then we locate the TLS traffic light and then we paste in the traffic light okay there, there it is uh, center okay so you see that it is changing according to what our setting is okay and then let's see our vehicle locate our vehicle 2 we set vehicle 2 to a certain speed right yeah so this is the vehicle 2 okay it has ended huh? okay so uh, let's see let's close this okay then we can also close this okay and then we need to wait for a while okay because it's generating the excel sx file the excel file okay so uh this is another way of seeing uh okay here you can find uh, here you can also find the uh, the speed of the of vehicle 2 okay you, if you want to confirm whether it, it is work the set the setting of the speed is working okay let us see um vehicle 2 let's check here vehicle 2 let's see um, vh2 okay so let's see let's see the speed the speed is 54 yes correct huh? okay uh, is yeah so vehicle uh, so we have set this okay so vehicle 2 uh, the speed is 54 is correct okay it's 54 vehicle 2 speed is 54 is correct we have set to this speed okay so if you remember uh, we set the speed to uh, 15 meters per second okay this is 54 kilometers per hour okay so by referring to the console uh, because we have printed them okay this is very important this is to see your values okay this is to print the traffic light information this is to uh, print the vehicle information okay 
So we can see from here, check whether the values are, are whether our algorithms, you can check whether our algorithms or, or our settings are set uh, according to what we want. Okay. So uh, the whole script is very simple. So there is a get, okay, there's a get section. So uh, all in a loop, okay, all in one loop, okay, looping the vehicles. So uh, get the vehicle information, uh, get the traffic light information, okay, and then pack into a data, okay, pack into a data list, and uh, then uh, you can do your machine learning, and then uh, you change according to your results, okay, your results maybe uh, will produce a, a like uh, 20 kilometers per hour, okay, you just put here, okay, yeah, you can improvise or put uh, put inside a list and then iterate, uh, this one is also uh, okay, yeah, right, okay, this, uh, this, uh, uh, you can be flexible about this, okay, so uh, yeah, that's all for now, thanks. Now I'm going to show you the server client architecture. In order for the client server architecture to work, both the, serv both the server and the uh, PC, this is my PC, this is the old uh, vSIM server, both of them must be installed with the Sumo software. Okay, the Sumo 1.9.0 the latest okay and then uh, later I will be uh, starting the sumo here and then I will connect my PC as a client to the server okay this is the vSIM server installed with sumo after installation, you have to create the Jurong area simulation. These are the files. After that, you need to create a simple Python file like this. Tracy start. Uh, okay, as usual, sumo GUI or sumo, and then dash C, uh, you call the uh, main file okay this one and after that what you need to add is this dash dash num dash clients 2 then port 8813 okay so this means that there will be two clients including yourself you are client 1 and then another user is client 2 and um, the this application when you run, um, it will wait until the second user is connected before it will launch the Sumo application. Okay, this is the script for uh, client 2, my PC. On my PC is this one, so it is this. Yeah, so um, the client tool is a bit different. Uh, it uses Tracy init, okay, to connect to this vSIM server. This is the IP address of the vSIM server. Uh, you set other two, of course, because you are user uh, client tool. And then uh, I use the subscribe function, okay, to get all the information, to get the uh, um, data of the um, roads and the lane positions uh, of the vehicle uh, this is the same as the get functions so uh, it doesn't matter uh, if you are interested in using this you can uh, uh, go to uh, the sumo website to uh, look for subscribe and subscription okay uh, the information are out there Okay, now I will demo uh, how the client server architecture works. Right, this is uh, the server script. This is the uh, client script. There is client 2, this is client 1. Uh, okay, so this is a short script. Uh, you only need to display 
because this is the server it only acts as a host to accept clients and then it will uh, monitor like display the data all right so uh, this is the this chunk of codes is necessary okay so remember this uh, remember that now uh, different from the standalone script okay we need to include a port now and then we need to include the num clients too to specify that there are now two uh, two people that means two users uh, including yourself uh, as the server okay the server uh, is client one then this one uh, is client two okay so set order client one is one and then uh, tracy start sumo command okay you run this command but with a port now port number that's all then for the uh, client side uh, only these two lines okay originally the standalone is this this right this command okay now you change to tracy init port 8813 okay must match the port number this one of the server so now uh, the local host uh, i put local host because i am now uh, doing uh, both the client and the server on the same pc okay and then Tracy set order to your client two, so you you put two. So that's all. Very easy, right? So you see the difference between uh, the setting of the server and the client. Okay, so this uh, client two script is the whole script, which you saw just now. Okay, the get, uh, the set. Okay, and of course the machine learning. Okay, you need to put here. Uh, yeah, that's it. So now we run this. Uh, okay, let's not use GUI. Uh, we can use to move faster. Okay. Okay, now it's waiting for this fella to uh, connect. Okay, so it's connecting now. Okay, yeah, very fast, huh? Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is a simple demo. Okay, now I'm going to uh, run the Sumo GUI. Okay, so Sumo change to Sumo GUI and save. Now we can run. Now uh, this is waiting for the connection of a client two. Okay, so here item client two sumo dot pi. Okay, so this is loaded. So increase this to okay to see better. So one. Okay, equals equal to. Okay, so see this running. Okay, we wait for this to finish. Okay, yes. Close. And we close this. We have come to the end of the Sumo tutorial. Thank you for watching. 
Uh, this is a copy of Sumo Simulation tutorial uh, online for beginners. Okay, you can download from the link here. Right. So, uh, thank you um, for your attention. Um, goodbye and good luck.